The Sola Scriptura Liturgical Prayer Book, Week 2, Friday, Bedtime, Invitation to Prayer, Psalm 30, verse 4, and 32, verse 11. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Call upon the Lord, Psalm 86, verses 3 and 4. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Praise the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. The readings. God's call for his people. Romans chapter 8, verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Acts 2, verse 36 to 39. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made the same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart, and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. The last reading, First Kings, Chapter 18, verse 37. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that Thou art the Lord God, and that Thou hast turned their heart back again. Psalm 80. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, Thou that leadest Joseph like a flock, Thou that dwellest between the cherubims, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up Thy strength, and come and save us. Turn us again, O Lord, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against the prayer of thy people? Thou feedest them with the bread of tears, and givest them tears to drink in great measure. Thou makest us a strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us again, O God of hosts, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt, Thou hast cast out the heathen, and planted it. Thou preparedest room before it, and didst cause it to take deep root, and it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and the boughs thereof were like the goodly cedars. She sent out her boughs unto the sea, and her branches unto the river. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges, so that all they which pass by the way do pluck her? The boar out of the wood doth waste it, and the wild beast of the field doth devour it. Return, we beseech thee, O God of hosts, look down from heaven and behold, and visit this vine and the vineyard which thy right hand hath planted, and the branch that thou madest strong for thyself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man whom thou madest strong for thyself. So will not we go back from thee. Quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts, cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Let us pray. Psalm 55, verse 22a. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Luke chapter 2, verse 29 to 32. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Psalm 31, verse 5. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Pause now and give thanks and pray for your personal intentions. Consider praying for all of our brothers and sisters in Christ. A plea for mercy. Psalm 70, verse 1. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Psalm 3, verse 8. 
Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Praise the Lord. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 11. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Philippians chapter 4, verse 20. Now unto God and our Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 22, verse 20c. Even so, come, Lord Jesus.